given the vital importance of social protection and social welfare systems. Let me commend the Ministry for the participatory process that was used to draw up these documents, with consultations with many stakeholders and clients at different levels. I'm particularly pleased that this strategic plan has been developed with a balanced scorecard, which will make it all clear, make it clear to all of us, the vision, the mission, the objectives, and the key results areas contained in the plan. It will help to efficiently and effectively promote well-coordinated basic social protection programming and social welfare systems as key activities in alleviating poverty and supporting rights and well-being in Zambia. Honourable Minister, the particular value of what we're launching here today will be in the services, the alleviation of poverty and the promotion of human dignity as in line with the values that are underpinning the strategic plan. Indeed, the mission to facilitate the provision of basic social protection services for inclusive, sustainable and human and community development is something we are firmly behind and committed to accompanying you through. Children, of course, are the future, and also the present, given they make up more than half of the population. That is why ensuring that they enjoy their rights is a key part of any country's development.